How do about you, that? Do you pray in the shower? What? Do yeah. You, you do? Yeah. Maybe that's why you're not singing. Well, I can sing prayers. This little huh? light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm a biodegradable straw. Oh, the worst kind of straws. Really? For oh, personal for, consumption. Yeah. I, I don't like any of the straw. Play. I've yet to come across a straw that I'm like, no, I think I think this. Starbucks. I think this. I have a Starbucks cup and this feels like plastic, but I'm pretty sure this is one of, this isn't paper, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's the kind that it doesn't break down while you're drinking, but I oh, think okay. it would last for like a couple months or something like oh, that. Oh, well, I don't mind that. So that's not too bad. No, I'm, when I think of, of biodegradable straws, I think of the paper straws. Paper. And um, outside of that, they have the metal straws. I don't like those because I just don't think they can be clean. Yeah. Also metal, you know, sometimes you just don't want like yeah. to be biting on metal. Well, you shouldn't be biting on your straws. Well, like, you know, the chopsticks are because you don't want a big metal utensil in your mouth. How about a bamboo straw? Bamboo. Very, very, um, what's that word? Utilized? No, like... Useful? No. <laughs> Utilitarian? No. It's... Ulysses S. Grant? It's, um, it can be made, it can be re replenished. I forget the word, but it's... Renewable. Yeah, like a renewable resource. Thank you. Yeah, grow, almost to a fault. You can watch it grow. Uh, there's a lot of places in the old U.S. that you can't grow bamboo because Invasive. it is very quick growing and just takes over. Bamboo shoots. What did I say to my co-host about talking about my name before we introduce Frank? And he just stands there like a dummy. Well, you know, he looks like a dummy. This is Frank and he is wearing his wife beater. Um, that's inappropriate he's wearing a uh sleeveless undershirt i was thinking about that it's weird like that's become such a like more than oh it's something we say it's like mm -hmm. that's what it's called what right. you, like you don't even uh, think about the words you're saying right like um the other day i talked about in in the uk if you wear your rubber boots they say wellies yeah you know get your grab your wellies or put your wellies here and wellingtons is a type of boot so people yeah. just refer to all the rubber boots as wellingtons but they're not so that's but that's even like a brand that's, well that's, that's what like i'm saying, saying. can that's, i get a kleenex right that's or a band-aid that's that's universally accepted the way we're we're universally accepting wife beater which we should not that's not even a brand name that's just a an accusatory title. Maybe he wants to have a half top on today. I don't think he does. He might. But maybe he is a wife beater. We learned that his significant other is the uh, <laughs> the CPR dummy. She does need CPR all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I think he just gets a little too aggressive when he does it. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't like showing his mid drift. I don't like that word either. There's a lot of words I don't like. It's not mid drift. What is it? Mid drift. F F F. Uh. How you guys doing? It is a beautiful day out. Oh my, I woke up to the loudest thunder. I woke up to damn landscapers. Oh. Really? You woke up late I'm then. going to bring a um a plea to Senator Oz. Did he win? No, I don't think the race happened yet. <laughs> I, and say there should be designated days for landscapers because in our neighborhood... Um, our lovely ourselves and our neighbors have figured out a way that the landscaper comes every single day and yeah. every single hour. <laughs> yeah, I, every house. It's like, well, yeah. why have the same schedule? And the leaf blower is particular. I do believe it's used in um, like military torture. Oh, just just outside just of your barracks. The leaf just, blower. <laughs> just run the leaf blower. They'll talk. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll talk. But you weren't saying that. You were saying thunder. No, thunder so loud, it, like shook the entire house. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I thought it was we were being invaded. Um, in in um in uh Upper Bucks County, yeah, they lost their power and um power and lights. Sorry, Upper Bucks County, it could never be us. <laughs> um, but how you guys doing? It's June sixteenth. Yeah. Um, six it, one six two two. Tupac's birthday. Oh, Tupac. Tupac. Um, great guy. You were what, born in the same year as him, right? Um, I am Tupac. Oh, he never died. For everyone searching on the internet. Yeah. You found him? Found him. You found him. If you're watching Kirk and Crow, secrets out. I Tupac came Shakur. Here to spit my wisdom. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, Tupac. Uh, gone too soon. Gone Tupac soon. He was so young. Yeah. Like now, like since he's his name has aged right. with him, you associate him with being older. Right. But he was young when he died. 
How old? I don't know. Here, he's this old, but it's crazy to think of, because like you put him, like I said, in such yes. a line like him and Biggie, and it's like then you find out their ages. Like, oh my god. So you're crying. <laughs> but I just miss him. <laughs> you're not I just miss him so much. He packed a lot into his life, and um, he left us with packed a lot. A lot. <laughs> to pack a lot into his life and he left us with um hole in food, our hearts food for <laughs> did he get shot oh i said our hearts <laughs> food for thought yeah he uh, yeah, had some wisdom he was a good artist too oh like a like a drawing yeah was i don't think i can show any of the photos because he used to make explicit drawings oh, okay. and send to a significant other while he was locked up in jail. art is always not always but art is frequently um yeah, used to it's art right well that's what i'm saying why can't you show it if you can show i'm pretty sure tim making lo- love to his wife yeah but uh i'm sure All right, there's fine. here Pain welcome to the christian that. podcast that's tupac there's nothing unchristian about someone making love to his wife that's did you say wife i don't know was um, he married was it I didn't will smith's he's... wife i don't know She's everyone's wife. <laughs> she has a lot of love to go around. Yeah. Um. Just wait till August. The month. Yeah. I got it. I got it. A little double on time. I got drop. it. I heard. I heard he had some fallout. This guy, Will Smith, that there was supposed to be a book written about him, or no, a show. His a few things. So I've heard. Uh, were canceled because. Well, that's why you don't go around slapping people. Take that into consideration. Even if you're not going to be punished, you shouldn't go around slapping people. That's true. But in uh, addition, in addition, motivate you. Yeah, it, it, like, I would, I would, I would be more amiss if it was like, but he's Will Smith. So yeah. Was, yeah, like at least someone's being like, you can't do that. Yeah. Setting the record straight. Yeah. Um, do you know what Trinity Sunday is? Trinity Sunday. Is it um for Trinity from um Trailer Park Boys? Maybe we celebrate her no, character. It's from Trinity from The Matrix. Really. No, Uh-oh. it's religious. <laughs> the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's Trinity Sunday. Not today, that passed. But oh, yes. we. I do remember now. Don't lie. <laughs> no, well, there was there, on Instagram, it says, Happy Holy, on our in, Crook and Crow Instagram, yeah. picture of you says, Happy Holy Trinity Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Um, But that was last Sunday. And the first Thursday after that is um Corpus Christi Day. Corpus Christi, and we went through this in a different podcast where you said Corpus Christi, and I said, that's not holy, that's a place in Texas. Yes. And then we looked it up, and it was But Corpus holy. Christi is Latin for the body of Christ. Corpus is like corpse. Corpus Christi, everybody libido. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, Corpus Christi Day is... I think it's also like Corpus Christi Last Supper Day. It's a uh, oh. remember. It's like a, a, it's always on the Thursday after Trinity um, Sunday, around like sixty days after Easter. It's about like the body of Christ, like the right because Trinity Sunday follows the Pentecost, isn't it? Pentecost Sunday next week, Trinity Sunday. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is today's Corpus Christi uh, Day, Body of Christ, the Eucharist. Um, you know, and the people in Texas who get to live there, and the people in Texas. We live in um an area. Uh, oh, there's also in the Bible. Philadelphia is in the Bible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is in the Bible. It's a I book. That. It's a letter, I think, from Paul. Yeah. To the people of Philadelphia. People of Philadelphia is talking to you and me. As long as you live here. Um. What else? Uh, that was like a pretty big day. A National Fresh Veggies Day. Fresh veggies. We do have a vegetable patch going in our um on our prop on the prop yeah on the prop we got <laughs> we have our well, everyone's um, gonna start eating growing vegetables if these grocery prices are going up how about that no but that's true we uh if, if in, in, you know during the depression you all you needed was the smallest pot of dirt and people would put something in there to be able to eat and maybe we should go back to that what is going you on all right yeah because i keep seeing i just got this out of the dryer and i think it's like Bending you got and weird. some dryer sheets back there? <laughs> Maybe. Have you ever had that? Yeah. Yeah, you, you just pull it out of your, your pants. I remember, I remember one time um, I was in high school and I'm wearing pants and I'm going through my day. I was so embarrassed. It's not embarrassing. And it means they're clean. I'm like, what is in my pants? I reach down and it's just, it's clean boxer shorts. No. <laughs> 
But I thought you were going to say a dryer sheet. No, like an extra pair. Like obviously, I was wearing some, but it was like stuck in the leg. And then it was so embarrassing because I'm in class and I can't get it out because then it's like everyone's going to see me pull underwear <laughs> like out, a of my, ma- magician. out of my pants. The underwear know? magician. Hey, guys. And so I just had to like sit there until I could hide and go to the bathroom. That's not at all what I expected you to say. my backpack. That is too funny. Yeah, but... um. I thought you were going to say a dryer sheet. Now I always check, you know, check for snakes in your boots and boxers in your pants. Yeah, I shake my shoes out for for bugs. Yeah, I shake it out for pebbles. <laughs> uh, I feel like uh, the woman on the pee bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't control her bladder. No, what is that story? Sure, was, yeah, the princess the, in the princess pee. Princess in the pee. Yeah, where she laid on the bed and she would always feel just the, knew. The, the pee. Um, and that's me. There's a like dry a, bean, not a, like you know, if people mushy peas, you know, it's it's not like cooked. Yeah, no, it was not cooked. Dry bean. <laughs> um, yeah, if there's like a single pebble, because I walk on the trails a lot, so you can imagine, right? Pebbles get in there, but oh yeah, absolutely. It's like I walk and I like just try to be like ah, it's just a little pebble, and then no, I have to take my shoes off. That's why you should wear your wellies because um, no pebbles would get in there. Beef Wellington. How do you feel about it? I don't eat meat, and I um. Probably would have liked it years ago. We well, don't eat gluten either. Is it a gravy? Is no, it a, isn't. Wait, what am I thinking of? I don't know. I know beef well. I've heard. I don't know. I thought to me, it's just like, is it? Is it a gravy beef? That sounds great. No, but. I think that's like beef stroganoff. Oh yeah, no, that's like a cream base. Yeah, well, beef. beef well, I thought beef Wellington. Correct me if I'm thinking of something else. Like a is pie. when you bake the pastry around the big piece. That of sounds meat. delicious. It's but. like a, a big piece of meat. Yeah. Um, like beef, mm-hmm. some kind of some kind of beef. Brisket or something. And then you, you put pastry dough around it. Sounds good. And then you, or you cook it, then you do that, then you bake it. Yeah. And you cut it into slices. Like a, like a chicken pot I pie. I think it's like an English dish. Yeah, it definitely sounds English. Wellington. Ah. Uh, Wellington. Nice to see you here. Have you brought your special dish? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun to do accents. Every. Yeah. Every p- person, every person, but like every Not country. All accents. No, but like every country enjoys trying to do the accent of another country. Now, when do accents get offensive? Yeah, I don't know. Who knows in 2022, but well, people be- still like to do it. I even see little children doing it. Yeah. Like, you well, know, they put on a funny little accent, you know? Yeah. Because like you can do Italian, you can do like those ones, but. I don't think you should go around, you know, saying, oh, it's, I'm doing a funny Ooh, my neck. Korean accent. I wouldn't even know how to do a Korean accent. Just the ones that are like, you know, the classically inter- in- c- classically repeated Can ones. Can you even you know? do like a like Mexican French, accent? you know, like, ooh la la, mon chéri. Yeah, well, it just begs the question. It's like some, I know. some things are like, whoa, don't go talking well, like that. Well, language is silly. Language is just people agreeing on words that... On vocal cord vibrations. Yeah, exactly. You guys are getting upset over vocal cord vib- vibrations. Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh-uh. Grow up. <laughs> I talk telepathically. Yeah. I don't even talk anymore. No. It's too outdated. One day I feel like it will be. Talking? Yeah. Why? Why strain this cord? Did I tell you this before? Um, When I'm driving alone... Talk to yourself? I drive a lot. I don't talk to myself until I've been in the car for two hours. And then you start talking to yourself? Yes. Okay. But I don't tell myself to do it. That's just the amount of time that yeah. you look at the clock and be yes. like, oh, I started talking to myself. Yes. Again. If I drive, so I can drive everywhere. I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking a lot. Sometimes thinking so much, you know, you get to the place and you're like, I don't How remember. How did I get here? I don't remember that route. But it, I'll be driving. And then when I start to say, like, sometimes, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. But I'll just audibly talk. No one else is in the car. Yeah. And then I'll say, yep, it's been about two hours. That's <laughs> <laughs> so weird. It makes sense. You know, cause it's a long time. And then you start. I don't know when I start talking. Talk do you talk to yourself in the car? No, I cry. <laughs> Scream. Not in a parked car. What? Because I see you doing that outside. <laughs> I meant driving. Well, yeah. Do you drive far enough to. Um, well, you're never alone either. Yeah, I don't think I've ever driven alone for. Actually, that's not true. I drove down to Florida. Yeah, you're right. Well, you had the dogs. No, there's a couple times I didn't. But uh, I, so when you drove to Florida, you didn't talk to yourself. Am I alone? No, I thought, maybe I did. I don't know. It looks like you don't want to reveal. Okay, I <laughs> sing, and I have prepared a song. What? Where's my pocket? You in this jacket? You do? You do sing? No. <laughs> Well, yeah. I, I'm, I think everyone sings. Do you yeah. sing in the shower? No. No. Never have. Really? 
Never. I, 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 That's yes, like real classic. I can say I've talked in the car by myself, sang in the car. I've never sang in the shower. I don't really listen to music in the shower. Hmm. Well, I guess people that sing don't need to listen to music. They'll just give a little tune. Yeah, sometimes they just... I'll, I sing everywhere but the shower. How do you, about that? Do you pray in the shower? What? Do yeah. You, you do? Yeah. Maybe that's why you're not singing. Well, I can sing prayers. This little oh. light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 that's perfect yeah. for the re- re- reverb. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. The shower's not even on. I just stand in it for the for the acoustics. In, in other people's, like when yeah. you're at someone's house. Yeah. <laughs> you just hear it. Can I use your bathroom? <laughs> I come out like everything's normal. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, so where are we going? Yeah. But um, yeah, that's really that's that's it, guys. Uh, it is it is Thursday. Um, and you know what you know what time it is. On Thursday, we have a little something special called Walk Through Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun, cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What is up, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday. You know how it goes. You know how we roll. On Walk Through Thursday, we open up the Bible. Bible's open. Pay attention. Once the Bible is open, we pick a verse similar to what we do in our Instagram stories. Go follow us. We're doing the New Testament Bible books. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we pick a verse and we slow it down. Maybe you've never heard it before. Um. Slowly but surely, Crook and Crow is getting you to read the whole Bible. You're not even knowing it. And we're just going to take the one verse and try to get something deeper out of it. We can sit here and yabber on about Tupac and about the Bible, overarching themes. Sometimes it's nice to look at a little verse. Maybe this verse, you don't even know, but you're going to start saying every day you take a shower. Forget singing. How about that? But we're going to break it down. We're going to chop it down. We're just going to go through it sentence by sentence, line by line. Word by word, letter by letter, and we're going to have fun whilst doing it. So without further ado, um, what, what, what book are we reading from? Do you have your phone? Yeah. Because I sent it to you. Um, t- today, today's um, Instagram poll, um, one of the verses is 1 Corinthians. It's actually your verse. Nice. Maybe people are more interested in 2 Thessalonians, which is my verse doubt it but anyway um that's one corinthians but we're not doing one corinthians today. we're doing two corinthians um i like that you got the new international version up i know you've been like toying <laughs> around the contemporary english but <laughs> let's get out of here at that so we're reading two corinthians one nine okay mm-hmm. yeah um so obviously this is new testament this is paul this is paul writing letters he's writing letters to a lot of people the romans the galatians the thessalonians the hebrews and he also wrote a couple letters to the corinthians in corinth um so yeah let's let's get into it Mm -hmm. indeed we felt we had received the sentence of death but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves but on god who raises the dead blink blink (laughs) okay yep so what do you have to say about it i have to say that there are times in your life where you are pushed all the way to um, doubting that you'll survive it. Yeah. And um, that's not where you want to be ever, but it does happen. Yeah. But sometimes when it happens, it's when you feel so boxed in, but then you see the door open and that door is God. Yes. And... um you know, like pressure makes the diamond, you know, did you have to go to that place to, to see that door? Yeah. Yeah. No, it kind of, um, reminds me of, uh, you know, lean not on your own understanding, but it, it's that idea that like, yeah, it's a, it happened for a reason. Like we all, you always ask, like, why are we on earth? If there is a heaven, what's the point? And it's like, the point is to, to learn and to go through life and not only, it's not all going to be gravy. It's not all going to be great. And we will be at times where we feel completely lost and defeated. Right. And it's in those moments that we are able to lean on God, rely on, right. not rely on ourselves, but on God. 
And um, I, I talk about it before, and um, I'll talk about it again. I think it's one of, like, the Bible is, like, against money and stuff and, yeah. and, and earthly possessions. And yet, and so you, but you, you find a lot of those people up in the upper echelon, not really that religious, but then you find people that are religious. Yeah. And um, a lot of them you'll find in interesting places, right? Um, AA, Alcoholics, An- Alcoholics Anonymous, is an organization that's helped millions of people people recover from alcoholism in it is is like so it's fundamentally about like one of the things is having a higher power right you know like it's not the thing we talked about before is prisoners who um who have found god in prison and a lot of it is is this it's like where they have been they have had that ego death of i i I'm I've, I've lost. I've lost. Yeah, yeah I've, I'm no longer in control, and that's when it all makes sense. That, that's when you realize that you have God to rely on, and so I don't think the problem so much is with you know money and earthly possessions and fame and fortune, is that it's not possible. It's just harder when you are relying on money. When you're relying on right. earthly things, it's harder to see that door open, and so, like. I think that's, that's an important distinction, you know, why always in the Bible, it's like, you know, blessed be the poor man, right? And it's like, why? why? And it's like, well, when you stop using all these crutches, you realize that you can stand with your arm around God. Right. Because um, he'll support you. Right. And it's harder to see that. Um, it's Or not, I wouldn't say it's harder to see that. It's easier to see that when you haven't pushed that point. Yeah. And so that's what um that's what he's saying here. I remember um, at amusement parks when I was little and you go on these old timey cars yeah, and they go around and you are and you have the steering wheel yeah, and you're driving and I loved it because you're little and yeah. it's like I'm driving a car and you're usually driving like adults because like your parent will let you drive and, um, and your older siblings or whatever. And I loved it <laughs> until I realized we were on a track. Oh, uh, how long did that take you? How old are you? 18? Last year. <laughs> yeah. Last year. I realized I was on a track. Yeah. And when you let go of the steering wheel, you're still going around the track. <laughs> you, just, yeah. you didn't go off course and you didn't go into the bushes. So in that scenario, I was sad because I wanted to be driving the car. But sometimes I think about life where people think they're driving the car. Yeah. And um, not unless, you know, something happens that really binds you down where you realize, wait, I wasn't. I was never driving, you know, yeah. and, but then, you know, not to be sad, like I was, but to be like, well, this is great. Yeah. This is great. Well, cause yeah, I mean like that was just a realization, but this is like, yeah, with the, they thought they were going to face death. Right. So it's like if, if you think you're in control this whole time and then. How will I get myself out of it? And I, yeah, I, I, it's I, like, I, oh, how are we going to make it stop? And it's like, yeah. finally it go. And it's like, oh wait, now I can just lean on the old train operator <laughs> right. to stop this bad boy. Um, and then another, so, but it also says, um, my question is, they thought they received the sentence of death, um, but this happened, we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. So is part of this also just the, like... No one dies. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And I and I love it. Is It, it, it is part of what it's saying is like, we're relying on, on, on we're stop relying on ourselves, but on God. Because even for God, a death sentence is not a death. Like yes. we were standing there, and, and oh, we're we're gonna die. It's a death sentence. And it's like they give up. And it's like we're gonna rely on the person who even our death sentence isn't a death sentence. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna he raises the dead. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, in so this is uh, Paul talking. Yeah, and he's talking about him and his compadres who go around getting arrested everywhere <laughs> they go. No, go around. What's this word? Prophesying? Yeah. Okay. Evangelizing. I hate that word because I always want to say prophesizing. Yeah. Prophesizing someone up. But it's <laughs> but it's prophesying. And I just, I don't, it doesn't make I don't me even f- know. This is the first I'm hearing of it. You sure? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure because whatever it is, when I see it, I say no. When I but see it's it, true. I say no. And I, and I can't spell it or anything, but they go around prophesizing. Yes. Prophesying. And, um, and... So what it, whatever had happened, whatever he's referring to here, they were always getting 
arrested, getting convicted, getting beat up, getting chased out of town. So whatever happened, you know, um, we felt that we had received the sentence of death. So, you know, they think they're in extreme danger that they can't escape from. Um, and then they realize that what you just said. So they're, God didn't appear to them, I'm guessing, at that time and say, you don't worry, you know, like, I'm going to remove you from the situation and you will live. But what you just said, they took away the fear of death by saying, yeah. even if you kill me, yeah. you haven't killed me. Yeah. And so, especially so you're like living, you know, your godly life, you're doing what he wants you to do. So who are you going to rely on? Yourself, who that death sentence is a death sentence. Right. Or because like that, I think that's like the one thing that's clear about it is like, it's not talking about so much. Oh, we're not like, oh, okay. Yeah, we will. We will just die because that's fine. God's it's saying we are relying in life on someone who death sentence is not a death sentence. Right. Like, so I'm going to go, th- I'm, I'm going to go through life and there's going to be obstacles. If I were just, yeah, if I just rely on myself, it's, if I mess up, that's it. Right. For relying on God is I'm going to let him show me my path. Yes. Because even, even if I feel like I'm at the edge of death, I'm, a, I'm following the guy who's, who's right. raises the dead. And that's good because, um, I find, cause take, um, disease, you know, people get diseases and you get, you do get death sentences through diseases. People yeah. will, the doctor will literally tell you, you have six months or yeah, whatever. You're donezo. Right. That's the medical term. Now, if you only believe that you, your, your journey was to keep yourself alive, to find the doctor that could help, to find the medicine that could help, you know, to eat the right vegetables on this veggies day, um, then you would, so you would feel that it was a failure. Yeah. I have the sentence of death. It's over. Lights out. But you, when, so the last line, um, God raises the dead. So if the doctor is telling you, I'm sorry, Frank, but you only have six months. Well, the body only has six months, but my soul has forever because, yeah. because um, God raises the dead. So even if this disease is going to kill me, it's yeah. not going to kill me. Yeah, exactly. And it's just, it's just like, yeah. I am putting my faith in the person who's overseeing it all. Right. Not in my, with my very earthly vision of like, oh, well, th- this is it for me. It's like, right. I have not, I'm putting my faith in, in the person who's seeing right. before, during, and after, right. not just the here and now of, of what's happening. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And that's... it's hard because, you know, you, it, this says, um, you know, and just think, this is Paul, Paul who did, who was blessed by God, who was, divinely um you know driven yeah why did he feel that oh no we, we you know this is a death sentence oh no we have to rely on someone besides ourselves god you know so so also i find that it's comforting in that way that because even you and i can sit here and we can say it's okay if you get a disease you're gonna go to heaven and it's okay yeah. if enemy fire you know if, if we become the next ukraine and and we're getting um, bombed by another country and we're hiding in our basement because we're Christian and we know that life goes on. Like, no, you will be, you will, we will be squeezed at that point because yeah. our human fear is going to make us tense up and say, yeah. wait a second, you know? Um, so this is an ongoing yeah. fight. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I think that's the whole point of this. It's um, this happened so that we might like these things happen and it was almost what, then re- rejuvenates that faith. And it's very easy to just forget about it and like, oh, da da da. Right. And it's like, it takes these things of right. something bad happening to constantly. Yeah, be the like, testing periods are the hardest. I mean, yeah, you, you, well, you feel. All life is a testing period. You feel, um, yeah, you feel that you, even working out or whatever, I'm sure. Yeah. You, you could lift weights in the gym and everything, but maybe there would come a time that you had to lift something off. Yeah. You someone fall off a cliff, yeah, climb back you up. You have to climb back off the cliff. That's a good example. All of a sudden, you might doubt, like, yeah. I didn't I didn't re- mean a real cliff. <laughs> I, just, uh, <laughs> I like to have a little bit of fun. But that's it, guys. That's it for our little TED talk, our little 2 Corinthian talk. Um, if you enjoyed it, let us know. If you didn't enjoy it, um, keep your mouth shut. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. we got a book all lined up for you. It's going to be a good one, so uh, come out for that. Uh, until then, God bless you. Peace. Oh, my legs.
Oh, <laughs> 